My name is Mike Wang, and I am the gameplay director for NBA 2K. Customization in, in, in sports gaming in general and in NBA 2K24 is so crucial because people play the way they want to play. You know, some people may not touch a certain button or they shoot with a certain button and they don't really like where it's at or maybe it's not comfortable for their hands. Having the DualSense Edge and being able to customize the buttons to exactly how you want to play is great. It's great for every type of gamer, whether you're a casual or where you play the game all day, every day. One thing that I did was I changed my left stick and my right stick profiles to be a little bit quicker than the standard ones. So especially the right stick, that one's set to be, I even tried digital, because uh, it allows me to have basically work like a button and be really responsive with even a slight flick. And the left stick I used for movement, so I actually tried precise with that one so I could actually move and, and have a little more precision and uh, actually throttle the stick and walk and, and jog at different speeds. Setting up the controller was really simple. You just jump in the UI and you can change the customization options. You can set up different profiles for the same game if you want. You can set pretty much everything. You can customize the, the dead zones of the sticks, button mappings, you name it. Just very simple and very straightforward. I love that the DualSense Edge has customizable stick caps. You can swap in and out whenever you want. I use the low dome stick cap for my left stick because I like the feel of that one for movement. And I left the standard the stick cap for my right stick, which is used in our game for shooting and, and dribbling and stuff. Sky's the limit. You can kind of set the control up to work exactly how you want it to work. NBA 2K24 in basketball in general is such a fast twitch game. One of the disadvantages of our current setup is that when you're moving around on the court with the left stick, you have to take your thumb off the left stick to hit the D-pad to call plays. So having the ability to map D-pad left to the back button is really helpful to call plays on the fly. It's a read and react game. You have to be able to react in a millisecond. But having the ability to have everything at your fingertips and be able to in this case, call plays and move at the same time. Not have to stop to get your finger to get off the thumbstick into the V-pad. It's really helpful and it's essential for being successful in uh, the heat of battle. Yeah, I think when it comes to tips for using DualSense Edge for me is just play around with the different configurations and the button maps. So that's something that the game doesn't allow you to do by itself. So with the controller and the ability to switch profiles and, and change different options out on the fly, it's great for um, just, just playing around and, and playing the game a different way. And you'll find something that works for you, something that feels comfortable, and uh, it'll make you a better 2K gamer.